You've probably heard the word matter used many times, as a matter of fact, or hey, what's the matter? In science, matter is anything that has mass and takes up space. Basically, all the stuff around you is matter, and you're matter too. Matter has many different properties or characteristics that can be used to identify and classify it. Materials can be hard or soft, hot or cold, liquid, solid, or gas. Some materials catch fire easily, but others do not burn. Chemistry is the study of matter and how it changes, and chemistry is what we'll be doing today. Every form of matter has two kinds of properties, physical properties and chemical properties. A physical property is a characteristic of a substance that can be observed without changing it into another substance. Examples of physical properties include state, color, mass, volume, density, magnetism, conductivity, or the ability to insulate, luster, flexibility, hardness, and temperature. Some properties of matter can't be seen by just ob observation or touch. A chemical property is a characteristic of a substance that describes its ability to change into different substances. To observe chemical properties, you must try to change it into another substance. Examples of chemical properties include flammability or non-flammability and reactivity or non-reactivity. Now I'm going to demonstrate different physical and chemical properties to you. So you need to create a data table similar to the one that I'm showing here. Um, and as I demonstrate a property, you need to fill in the different sections of the data table. For this first demo, you're going to have to use your imagination a little bit. Imagine I have this aluminum block and I've pounded it, turned it into a thin sheet of aluminum foil. This demonstrates the property of malleability, which since it's still aluminum afterwards, is a physical property. Well, you're going to have to use your imagination again, just like the last one. This time we have a copper sheet that we're going to imagine we're pulling and stretching into a thin wire like this copper wire right here. This demonstrates the property of ductility and since it's still copper before and after it just looks different, it is a physical property. To focus on now is the way that the metals here shine when the light hits them. This is demonstrating the property of luster which we can observe without changing the metals and therefore it's a physical property. All right guys, time to use our imaginations again. Imagine there's a brand new iron fence that's been put outside. All of the fence posts are probably nice and shiny, similar to this. Over time, however, they might end up looking more like this. This is an iron fence post that is covered in rust. The iron has reacted with the oxygen in the air, forming iron oxide, which is this reddish stuff. It is a new substance, and therefore it is a chemical property. Now well, we're going to use cow magnets. And I'm going to put this one closer to the other one, and they stick together. They have not changed at all to demonstrate the property of magnetism, so it is a physical property. We have a nice shiny piece of silver. Silver demonstrates the property of reactivity because over time it reacts with the oxygen in the air and will end up looking something like this. It's got this darkish kind of brownish silver oxide building up on it which is the formation of a new substance, and this is a demonstration of a chemical property.